it is the hardest for me to talk about in this video for the past few days I've been trying to come up with some amazing video idea but I was really overthinking on how am I going to make this video though and I'm trying to look other people's video content topics and whatnot some I would have agreed and some didn't sit well with me and in the end I've been making three videos and I just want to see which of the edits that I thought it worked but in the end <laughs> it ain't worked for me all of it <laughs> so I had to start over everything I, I, I don't want to try to mar don't overdoing this just how about start something small let's just think of a small video topic so here we are I don't know why it's so hard to make a video though like nowadays and I'm trying my best. Hey guys, my name 4 here and I just want to say thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers though. You guys are amazing. As a celebration for the 1,000 subscribers, this video is not it. <laughs> because I'm actually working on a new animation that was supposed to come out last month but because I have assignments and college stuff, so I didn't really have the time to whip up the animation on time But I promise you it's neither this month or next month The release of a new animation Just, you know, stay tuned for that This one is just a thank you, gratitude video 1000 subscribers, it's just, well I guess for most people it's not that much But to me I feel like it's a milestone that how much I've come so far As an artist Because frankly, to be honest, I'm, it's not actually my calling but at the same time it's what I love to do it, it's kind of hard to explain I always tell people that if you like what you do then just keep on doing it but if you're passionate then that is your career it's like like and passion they might both be the same thing but they are still different for me for instance I love drawing I love to do animation and whatnot that doesn't mean that I want to be an illustrator or animator though I can still do what I love but that's not the career path that I want to go for however if you love what you're doing to the point that you want to become an animator and illustrator now that's you're passionate so in celebration I'm just thinking a lot of you guys keep asking me like how can you be good at art or what kind of software you use or how do you get good in drawing there are a lot of questions I really wish I want to answer you all those questions but for now I'm just gonna focus one at a time how to start a comic and how to become a successful comic artist let's start so the first thing I'm gonna do to start a comic or manga whatever you want to say I mean Basically both are different things, it's just that, I mean personally, I want to do manga, you know, manga, uh, it doesn't matter, manga, manhwa, or comic, as long as you really want to get started, at least something, right? And I'm doing all that with zero budget, because mainly, I, I mean, the, the, the materials and source that I've been doing are all free. Technically, it's free, because the software is free, 3D is also free. The background is also free, the materials is also free It's free, all that's left is for you to start doing it Well, mine is the digital tablets, the electric and also food and water <laughs> I mean, gotta get realistic, am I right? So the first thing is, so I use a software called Medibank Medibank is a really good software, it's 100% free You don't need to pay anything to, for Medibank Unless you use unless you use iPad, some of the feature needs to be unlocked. Okay, so one time pay, but other than that, if you use PC, it's hundred percent free on the PC and Mac. Personally, when doing the art with Medibank, sort of straightforward because when you're making a panel, when you start making the panel, and then all you have to do is just use a slicer, and then you can make panels, and then you can adjust it. It's it's a really easy thing to do. You already got your ready-made panel done in Medibank. So next comes with the materials the backgrounds so for this background okay so a little bit far-fetched if I mention SketchUp people are gonna think like why but that's not free that's supposed to be paid yeah I know 
<laughs> SketchUp Web is absolutely free. The, the minus thing is that you can't save the background that you made or something like that in SketchUp file. I, I, I think I'm not mistaken, it doesn't save in SketchUp file because I already have a SketchUp myself because you know I'm an architecture student duh. But, but for the web, I don't think you can save your files on the SketchUp file. You only can save it in JPEG, PNG. That's good because that's what we wanted actually. You can just download any background from or background or furniture or anything from the SketchUp warehouse and then make a upload it in the SketchUp web and then just rotate it to any angle that you like make sure the styles is in black and white I mean to be fair you can make the styles in color if you like colored comic or manga or manhwa but for me because I'm doing my comic Okay, call me. Okay, um, sort of. Okay, you know what? Sort of manga. Okay, because I'm doing my manga black and white, so I will just go straight forward to black and white. But you can do the other ways that Medibank has also provided background for you, so you don't have to do anything about like they provide you everything the cities, the trees, and everything. I don't know what more do you want. It's everything there. But if there's not, there's there's no background that you want it for your story. Then might as well just use SketchUp website and then download some SketchUp Warehouse 3D materials and then just go for it. Alright, the next part is the whole speed lines. The the one that give the character some sort of like a expression, something like that. The, the materials, the lines and everything, you name it. Everything is already provided in Medibank. It's so easy to use when you're gonna add in some, some details in it. Or if you're too lazy to use the properties there. So you can just download the materials there as well. They also provide you speed lines. Oh, and another thing is that a lot of people also ask me, how do you do that half tone thing? Again, that is provided in Medibank. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to color your drawing directly. Or for me, because I actually want to do a faster work on doing the comic. I just I, I just overlay the the half tone onto the drawing itself. It just really saves time for me because nowadays people really want a faster content, faster comic page. I mean, personally, I can't provide that because again, college stuff. But nowadays people really want like a quick drawing, quick art, like because people want to know what happened to the story. Though I always keep myself like don't delay too long. But there are times I have no choice because it's a sacrifice that I have to make if there is submission on my end. So I can't do anything about it. I am so sorry. Hopefully this gives all the tutorial or maybe like a tip to for you to get started in the comic though. As for the stuff like how do you make the story, how do you make everything, that one is just... Maybe I possibly could make another video about that some other time I'm, I'm just giving you guys some tips about if you want to start so it's like there's no excuse for like hey I want to start making this comic but but I don't have the monies for the software and everything you can just download Medibank SketchUp Warehouse and the SketchUp website you can literally just get started with zero budget and I can guarantee that every single one of you can start your own comic I mean it's up to you guys which software that you guys are comfortable with to draw at the end of the day is about the comic that you guys produce and how much the reader would enjoy reading your things what we're trying to achieve is get at least a comic page get started on webtoon or on deviant art and whatnot and you started from there I, I it's just mind-blowing to think that I've got this far with the comic, YouTube. I didn't really see myself as a content creator but now uh, I guess I am. Uh. At the end of the day, I'm just doing this for fun. Drawing is something that helped me cope with whatever the hard times I have in life. So I really hope this video helped you to start. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you guys find this video benefit for you to start your own comic, manhwa, manga, whatever. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!